All right, welcome back everyone. Dr. Ben, not a real doctor, back from vacation, and here we go with another video. Today I wanna to talk about something that could be causing you a lot of back pain. And what I'm talking about here is, instead of bending over, squat. Now what do I mean by bending over? I mean using your back, so bending over, rather than actually changing your level, dropping your hips. And there's a lot of reasons why we tend to do this instead of squatting like we should. And one of them is just quite frankly, from our modern lifestyle, we have really, really weak hips and hamstrings. Hips meaning glutes. Um, I also kind of have this little theory that because we spend so much time as kids in desks where your hips are fixed to a chair, yeah, you learn to use your spine rather than using squatting to get to different levels. Because obviously when you're sitting in a chair, you can't lower your hips unless you get out of the chair. But then clearly you and I both know the teacher's gonna yell at you and it's a whole different thing. So let's talk a little bit about the difference between bending over and squatting. Okay, now because this isn't a deadlift demo, I've got my little setup here, the little bench. So we're gonna simulate like you're gonna pick something up off an elevated surface. As you can see, it's really easy for me to just reach over and grab this. Now, what I mean by bending over is I'm gonna use my spine and flex my spine like this, rather than changing the center of gravity and dropping my hips to get to this item. This is just a kettlebell up on the bench. So it's really easy, and some would argue even convenient for me to just do this. It's totally reasonable, completely simple. Uh, for a lot of people, this is gonna be more comfortable, actually, than doing a proper squat down to grab the item. And if it's a relatively light item, you're probably not gonna run into any problems doing this. The spine and the muscles can handle light weight. And depending on your training and technique level, if you watch strongmen, they pick up crazy heavy stuff with a rounded over spine. But they, they're, they're set up and they're trained to do that. Your average person isn't gonna brace properly. And this is how you can run into back issues. Is you're doing this all the time, you think it's a light object, you go to lift and you find out it's a lot heavier and all of a sudden these muscles are all stretched out and then they spasm and now all of a sudden you have a back injury. Instead, what you should be doing is squatting down, changing your level to get to this item. So, just like a, it's just like a body weight squat. You're gonna think hips first, so butt out. I'm already right there. If I need to go further, I can hinge further at the hips rather than rounding over, or I can drop my center of gravity a little bit more to pick up this item. Now, this, this goes beyond just um, picking things up. You'll notice, well, I should say I notice, that even when I'm doing things like at the kitchen counter, if I'm trying to lean in closer to get a look, good look at the mirror, I have a really bad habit of doing this but you can still use good technique and keep your spine nice and aligned and just can counterbalance with your hips so you can get a better position and take some of that pressure off your, your back. Now, obviously, this is gonna require some strength in the hamstrings and the glutes, which are muscles that we chronically don't use because we spend so much time sitting and short hip flexors tend to make the hamstrings and the glutes less active and less useful. So, this is a really simple way to get a little extra use out of your hamstrings and glutes, recondition good motor patterns by paying attention, and anytime you need to pick something up, do it like this. Or if you need to lean over, like this. There's a time and a place for this, but you're gonna do that more naturally just from doing it for, you know, probably decades, like me. Uh, so, be a little conscious and think hips out, Change your level, pick up, and then just stand up. It'll save your back, it'll better develop your hamstrings and your glutes, and it'll teach you better motor patterns just when you're doing everything all the time. Before long, if you do this for a few weeks and you're really diligent about it, it'll actually feel uncomfortable to try and pick something up like this. There you go, bending over versus squatting down. 
uh, you're really going to have to be really conscious on this one about when you're doing it, especially initially. You're going to have to think a lot about driving those hips back rather than just bending over. I get lazy all the time and I still bend over when I know I should be squatting. I'll catch myself and fix it, but it still happens. So, if you have any other tips that you can think of to kind of push this along and make it easier, share in the comments down below. Let me know if this helps you, I'd love to hear. If you got something out of the video, smash that thumbs up button. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe, and don't forget to share. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep your life in motion.